things. What's your overall view on this space? Because I was talking to an investor uh, from Store Brand Asset Management, uh, that's uh, Philip Ripman, and he was talking about having no exposure to China tech, primarily because he thinks the regulatory risk is very much still around. So uh, with the China internet results uh, season now, mostly with Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent reported, most of the, the earnings were, were a beat. Um, we are talking about cost controls, cost discipline across the board. And uh, we, while I think the uh, e-commerce numbers do show some of the uh, recovery on a one-year basis, on two-year basis, we're also seeing some signs of this consumption is gradually recovering. It's not as fast as what uh, the market or our investors were hoping for back at the end of last year, but it's uh, gradually recovering. I think Alibaba Tencent talked about the payment numbers, particularly Tencent payment numbers that are showing that consumption Consumption, if you add the online and offline together, services have been strong, travel has been strong, and uh, goods kind of started to really pick up in the in, in the month of March with apparel. And so Alibaba have seen that that strength. And beginning of year, we said advertising is our top preferred pick. We think e-commerce competition will, will be more intense this year as the reopening will impact some of the online retail. But with the divergence in performance here today, with advertising plays, uh, Tencent seeing good good advertising growth with e-commerce lagging, we actually see some select good opportunities within express delivery and select e-commerce names uh, as we head into uh, the second quarter, into the June 18th uh, shopping festival, where we expect some of the attractive pricing uh, to, to drive better demand in, in the online market. Right, but how do you deal with, uh, I, I get your point, I, I, I understand that things are changing for the sector as a whole, uh, there's a fair amount of online demand coming back, China's reopen is augering well for these businesses, but uh, is this trade being backed by investors? Uh, are you seeing money flow into these stocks uh, primarily because, like I said, you know, they're still scared of the regulators? I think on the regulation front, uh, Tencent and a few of our management teams talked about that the uh, regulations within the country in China is, is more adaptive. It's uh, more supportive of platform businesses. While we do see some of the investors were concerned about more on the U.S. side on regulations on AI and anything uh, about uh, investment bans or anything of those sort into the China tech and AI front. But if you look back to these businesses, most are massively dominated with uh, domestic consumption. Um, online penetration indeed has grown through the years, so uh, consumption at online retail is, is converging. But we do see a lot of the capital allocation and returns, with Alibaba overnight was announcing this distribution of Ali Cloud. And in, 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 this would imply nearly around 18% of, of our some of the parts of Alibaba that's given to shareholder earlier, Tencent uh, over the past two years distributed JD shares, Meituan shares, and has, most of these companies are upping their share buybacks as well. So we're in very attractive valuation terms, talking about um, Alibaba at nine times PE, or actually on the underlying Taobao Timor business, which I think they commented on being more aggressive in the, with a three-year plan of investments that might have caught uh, some of the concerns of investors, whether this uh, margin improvement uh, profile that investors were expecting will continue. We do think uh, with these spin-offs, uh, their loss-making assets will start to turn uh, narrow and loss in turnaround. This gives Alibaba the, the room to reinvest while delivering the shareholder returns that uh, most investors are hoping for. So we think at these kind of we're in a juncture of, of, of some of the geopolitical or concerns, but at the same time, these stocks have turned to a very attractive valuation. So we do see some of the comeback in investor interest across the space.